Hey, welcome to Drink Wine Be Crafty. I'm Megan and today I am so excited to show you how I made this adorable spring wreath. I'm in love with this guys. I love it when you have a plan and it just all comes together exactly how you envision it. Um, I did show my last video how I hand drew and made these stencils on my Cricut. I will have all three of these stencils that I made available on my Etsy store for download to a cut for a cut file if you're interested and also as a stencil you can purchase a vinyl stencil if you're interested in doing a project like this. Now it is hand drawn so they're you know they're not perfect but in my opinion you can't really see any imperfections once you use them. So I am in love with it. I'm also going to show you how I made the, the bow in this video, but I'm not going to show you how I applied the stencil to the wood because I have a video where I did that. It's a Christmas ornament video, but I did the exact same process. So I'm going to share a link to the video on how to apply the stencil to the wood and I'm going to share a link to my cut file and the stencil to my Etsy store and I'm also going to share last week's video if you're interested in maybe just drawing I'm not a drawer guys and but this is such a it's a craft that is I mean um, it's a project that is so simple or a drawing that is so simple I mean you really can't mess it up all right, but yeah, so let's get into it. Grab a glass of wine. I have my Cabernet today, and I'm ready to get into this craft, so let's get started. So first, I'm going to give you a rundown of what you need. I had this wire. It's a 12-inch wire wreath, so it's seen better days, but you'll need a wire wreath. Also, I bought the wood from Hobby Lobby. It, I bought two of them. They were $3.99 a piece. I needed a specific size, so I bought two so I could get the bigger ones or and the smaller ones. The bigger ones are going to go in the bottom. Also, stencil. You'll If you want to do a stenciled piece, you'll need a vinyl stencil, some burlap, and some flowers for finish. Also a hot glue gun. And the paint that I use is just the 50 cent paint from Walmart, Apple Barrel. I just found the most spring-like colors I could find. So yeah, 50 cent a piece. I use a lot of the Apple Barrel paint. So the first thing you want to do is just position the wood how you want it to be before you try to glue it down and make sure everything is how you want it to look. Now I did paint that top piece only because I didn't know exactly what I was going to do so I did not intend for that one to be painted. I just needed that particular size and that was the only one I had. So they should all be blank wood. And now just do the same thing with the small pieces until you get everything exactly how you want it and then you'll start hot gluing it down. Once you have everything positioned, the wire showing at the top will be covered by the bow so it's okay to have gaps at the top because that you will not be able to see. But now let's just go ahead and start hot gluing everything down. I also forgot to mention that you will need a piece of felt because just putting hot glue on the wire of the wreath doesn't hold the wood down perfectly so I start by putting the wood on the wreath and then I use the felt which I will show you to hold it down in place. So now just go around and apply the hot glue directly to the wire of the wreath and get each of these wood pieces down. If they don't stick it's okay because when we put the the felt on it's all going to come together just right. So let's let me go around and do that and I'll come back and show you how to apply the felt. So what you'll need to do is cut a piece of felt into small circles because this is just for personal use I'm not really being super careful and making it nice and clean but if you want to give this as a gift or you want to try to sell it I would definitely be a little bit more um, precise with the look and make it look nice and clean but I'm just doing this really quickly cutting these into circles 
so and my scissors are pitiful so I'm having a hard time getting these circles cut out at all and so once you have cut the circle out you're gonna put hot glue directly on the felt just a ton of hot glue and then you once you get it really covered you want to lay it over the wood and press it down um, around the wire and now make sure you have your wood pieces exactly where you want them to be because they're easy to remove until you put the felt on once you get that felt on there it's a pain to remove but this is the finished product of getting all the felt on and from here we will now put hot glue the small pieces on the top to cover up and you'll cover up all the wire and I have tons of little strings of hot glue so I've laid them out how I want them to be on my wreath and I'm just applying hot glue around the sides that are going to touch the other wood and you will do that all the way around making sure I put a generous amount of glue on these things so they'll stick I will say be careful not to put the glue too close to the edge of the small the ones that have the eggs on them because if once you press it down then the glue might actually come out from around the edges I did that on one of them and I had to cover it up with a flower because you could just see a big clump of hot glue so that's it and then with the flowers you just position them I didn't want to do a ton of flowers I just wanted a few so I did a couple together and then I am going to place a few that are just single ones and if you have big gaps that would be the best time to put the or best place to put the flowers is if you have like really big spots that just kind of seem a little bare but yeah just play with the flowers and position them how you want and hot glue those down and now I'm going to show you how to do the bow. You need a piece of burlap. Just cut to the size that you want. Once you fold it in half, that'll be the size of the bow. And you're going to glue the ends together. And I just double check and make sure that once I put it on my wreath that it's the right size. And you will pinch the center together and you could use a piece of wire to hold it together but I'm just going to pinch it together and use hot glue I just need since I'm using hot glue I need to make sure that the each side is even and it's exactly how I want before I do that so if you have wire I just didn't have any that might be the better way to go so if you need to undo it and kind of move things around you can but if you're using hot glue just Put a generous amount in the center of the front and you also need to put do the same thing in the back and then once you have put that together it does take a little while to dry so you can hold it but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get a little clip to clip it together so I don't have to sit and hold it while I do the rest of the bow. And while I'm clipping or while I'm letting that dry with the clip, I'm going to show you how to make the rest of the bow. And for the center piece and the little tails that it has, the burlap is way too wide. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut it in half. You can fold it together and get an idea of exactly where to start cutting and then just cut it as even as you can. Burlap kind of has lines you can see so it makes it a little easier to cut but you'll need it to be halved and you can buy burlap that is smaller so if you would rather just purchase it the right size I mean I, I had this and it works this way too. It does fray a little bit though once you finish but I don't mind that too much but to keep it from fraying too much what you need to do is apply a little bit of glue right on the edge and then fold it down and you only have to do one side because one side is already made to where it will not fray 
but you definitely want to do this step to keep it from completely falling apart. The ends will still kind of fray some, but this will keep it, keep that to a minimum. So just go all the way down with the hot glue on both of the pieces to get that done. Actually, you don't have to do the whole piece on the other one, so just do the first one. I'll show you what to do with that, and then we'll go to the second piece. So once you've done that, fold it together and you're going to trim off the ends at an angle to give it the ribbon look and then do the same thing on the other end. Trim those, trim the end off at an angle. Make sure you do it the right way. The first time I did it, I did it the wrong way, <laughs> which is fixable. Okay, now our bow is dry. So I'm going to show you how to put these two together. You're going to need a center piece. So you're going to get the other side that you cut. And you're going to need to, you're, it needs to be a lot shorter. So you're going to cut a piece off that will fit around the center of the bow. And you're going to put the hot glue on the edge again to keep it from fraying. And then once you have finished that, you are going to apply this to the bow to piece everything together. Now for the center piece I did actually glue both sides down because you need it to be a little bit more thin um, to, to go in the center of the bow but you want to pinch the bottom part and just place it to where it kind of lays how you want it to. It can be a little bit tricky just keep moving it around till you get it exactly how you want it, exactly the way you want it to look. And you're going to take the centerpiece and you're going to wrap that around the middle. And again, we are going to use our hot glue gun to just glue this down and get everything you want it. I actually just go ahead and start putting the glue down because it's if, if it's not perfect, you can glue it a little tighter, cut some pieces off. So just getting the glue down to hold everything a little bit in place helps tremendously. But yeah, just glue this centerpiece on and as tightly as you can. I love putting as much hot glue, especially on the back. Can't see it anyway. And then once you have glued this down, just trim off any excess because there's definitely going to be a little excess. Better have too much than not enough because you can't, you'll have to use a different piece if you, you don't have enough. But that is it guys. Once you have glued your bow, then you are ready to put it on your wreath. I think this bow is super simple, but I like, I didn't, I kind of debated on if I wanted to do something bigger or, but I like the simplicity of it. I think it turned out great. I'm super happy with this so i hope you guys enjoyed this craft and remember to check out my next video i'll probably announce my giveaway for the next month so we'll see you next time bye